Hi there, it's Peter here, the guy who hates tomatoes. And in today's screencast, I will show you how I created uh, Merry Christmas Lux website uh, using Scroller.js. Because it's a long website uh, and there's a lot of code, I'll, I'll actually will break it down into a couple, couple screencasts. And uh, in the first part, we're gonna cover the first uh, section where the tree is built up and uh, the get scrolling gets away. So uh, we're gonna cover up to this point uh, in this screencast and uh, the rest uh, in the next one. For those of you who haven't seen Merry Christmas Lux, I would encourage you to go to ahetomatoes.net slash Merry Christmas Lux and uh, explore the site yourself. You see that it's, it's the animation triggered by scrolling down the page and uh, I used uh, scroller JS, which is plugin very handy if you want to animate elements uh, based on the based on the scroller position. And um, the syntax for scroller can be quite overwhelming for start, so that's why I decided to use CodePen and actually show you the exact HTML, CSS, and uh, the JavaScript and the scroller settings. So you can play with them and um, actually see how changing the values affects the, the final animation. So uh, let's get stuck into it. The first thing we'll need to do is to go back to Photoshop and export our, our assets for the animation. So the folder sketch consists of seven parts of the tree. So it's part one, two and three and four trunk the pot and the shadow. We will also need the intro asset, which is the get scrolling arrow pointing down. We're saving everything as a transparent PNG 24 and I'm also running it through image optim just to save some bandwidth. So I hit alt and click on the eye arrow, uh, eye icon and then command shift and C to select and copy all. Command N to create new document and command V to paste it in. And then command alt shift and S and that's gonna bring the save for web interface. So we're gonna save everything as PNG 24 with the transparency. I've already pre-saved all the assets so we can go straight into building our HTML. Uh, so let's first create a section and uh, give it an ID slide one because it's our first slide and then inside of it we're gonna create a, a diff which is gonna hold the background uh, pattern so diff class and it's gonna be our BCG And then in our style sheet, we'll give the section some height. So let's go section, give it a height, 5,000 pixels. I'll just make this up, but uh, from the from the final result, but um, you would work that out. Just just extend it. I like to create the if you if you're starting up your scrolling project, just create the body height as big as you, you want and then you adjust it uh, based on the animation. So I know 5000 works with this one, but you could start with 10,000 and then reduce it. Next we'll add the styles for our uh, background layer. So let's uh, target the slide one and uh, background inside of it. And we're gonna resize it to 100% height and no width. It's gonna stretch it based on uh, the parent container. So uh, it's always 100% of the section uh, container. We're gonna give it a background uh, image. Which is gonna be our I'll say URL, which is it gonna be our IMG and uh, BCG underscore paper PNG. In this demo, I'm just gonna copy and paste from my notes uh, the full URL to that uh, file 
just to make it easier and I don't have to retype it all the time. But we're basically putting a background image of BCG underscore paper PNG to that div. Now we've got the background attached to the page, to the container, but we don't want it to move when we're scrolling down the page. So we're gonna add a couple more background uh, properties, background CSS properties. The first one will be background repeat, repeat, then uh, background position, center, top, and the most important background attachment, which will be fixed. That's gonna fix the image and won't scroll it when we go down the page. Uh, there's a couple of pixels at the top, so I need to also include the normalize or reset just to make sure there is no uh, padding on the, on the body. Now you can see there's no space at the top. So we've got the background image covered and uh, the next thing we're gonna add is the arrow pointing down and just get scrolling uh, message so we're gonna create a new div this time we're gonna give it ID and we're gonna call it scroll baby just because we want the baby to scroll and in our CSS we're gonna add I'm gonna target the scroll baby ID and we're going to set the dimensions, so width and uh, height. We're gonna get it from the file itself, so if we go back to our assets folder, find the dimensions 184 by 286. So I'll just copy it from the finder and just add pixels to it and um, got it set so uh, the width is 184 pixels and the height to 86 and we want to make sure it is uh, it has the right background image so we'll set the background to the right image and it's gonna be no repeat top left and the image itself is img underscore get scrolling.png I'll just copy the full path so we can see the image and now we need to position it uh, to the right place on the screen so uh, it's gonna be set to position position fixed and it's gonna be bottom zero and left 50% that's always centered but we need to bring it back uh, left uh, half of the width of the image so we're gonna use margin margin left negative margin left and it's gonna be half of the width of the image which is 92 pixels and that's it now we've got the get scrolling uh, on the right spot always centered and stick to the bottom of the page now we can start building our tree so we can hide the JavaScript uh, panel for now because we'll be working in the CSS and HTML panels. Create a div, give it a ID. Guess what? It's going to be a tree. And this div will consist of all the seven parts we need for, for our tree. In a CSS, we'll style slide one tree. We'll have the tree in multiple slides, that's why I'm targeting the slide one tree. And I'll give it a border so we know where is it actually positioning it. So red border. And we give it uh, our dimensions, which is 380 width. The height will be 550. And we want it to be positioned fixed top 50% left 50% and we'll bring it up and left 
with negative margin again. So margin top will be negative margin 275 pixels and left will be negative 190 pixels. So 275 is half of the height and 190 is half of the of the width of the tree. So now the border shows us where the tree will be positioned. We can comment the scroll baby out so it doesn't go in our way while building the tree. So this is our canvas for, for a tree and we'll now bring each of the parts of the tree one by one. We'll start with the top part of the tree first. So we'll create a new div inside of the tree. I'm copying and pasting from my nodes, but we're creating a div with class item and tree one. We use the tree one class for the positioning and then inside of it is, is the image. And it, that's all, all we need for each of the parts. In a CSS, we're gonna start slide one dot item and this will be position absolute top zero left left zero so each of our items inside of the tree will be in the top left corner by default and then we'll use the class tree one to position it into the spot we need to so tree one will be position bottom four two six left hundred pixels and top outer this positions the first part of the tree according to our PSD so we want it at the top and roughly 100 pixels from the edge this area is actually this the whole container for the tree which is our 380 by 550 now I'm gonna do some magic fast forwarding and I'm gonna paste all the other remaining parts into the HTML and CSS exactly the same way so have a look at this fast forward beauty and that's it now we've got the tree built exactly like we want it from the Photoshop and in the next part we'll look at how to actually animate this tree uh, while the user scrolls down the page. We can remove the border, we don't need it and let's go into the animation part.